I'm Laura Davis from TideandTime.com here at WBOC's Historic Studio D. You're watching Delmarva Life. <laughs> oh, straight, straight to a man's stomach. Yeah. Macaroni and cheese with a twist. Yeah, we're going to find out what that twist is. Laura's awesome. Well, tomorrow begins race weekend in Dover. Mm -hmm. It's also when Seaford's own CJ Faison hits the track. You probably remember we first met CJ on Delmarva Life last September before the race in which he drove to his best career finish at his home track with a seventh place effort. And this week I caught up with CJ to find out about the past year and what's ahead for this hometown favorite. In just about 24 hours, this car will be hitting speeds of around 200 miles per hour in Dover. A dream come true for driver CJ Faison of Seaford. I've been running that for the past two years part time and uh, really looking forward to coming back to Dover and uh, good to be back in my home state. CJ has been traveling all over the country but says coming home is always special. Coming across the Bay Bridge, I tell people all the time that's one of the biggest things is you're coming over the Bay Bridge and you realize you're coming back to your home state and uh, which makes it even more sweet is, you know, you're going to be racing in Dover where you've dreamed of racing all your life and it's actually becoming a reality. So it's uh, be my fourth race in Dover and I'm really excited to come back. CJ's racing career actually began when he was in preschool. That's when I started. It was cool. My dad, he got me started when I was about four and a half and I got really interested in it. And uh, it's been uphill ever since. And we've made a, a lot of progress in a short 20 years that, you know, we've been together in racing, so it's uh, it's really an honor to come back and be able to have my dad along my side the whole race, so it's pretty cool. And he says it didn't take long to know he had what it takes to win. Uh, I'd probably say about the first or second race, I actually went out there and won my first go-kart uh, event, so that was pretty cool. My dad and I, we, you know, it was one of them things you either, you know, when you start out, you know, if you've got it or you don't. CJ just turned 20 last month, but says it's typical for someone so young to go so far. Usually is, um, you know, you, you, you travel the country. I mean, you're in, you know, we've got our hauler here that, you know, takes us to places everywhere around, you know, the United States. And, um, you know, you, you can accomplish a lot, you know, if you have the right people, the right sponsors. CJ says that kind of support is vital because anything can happen in the span of a race. Last year at this time, this nearly prevented him from racing in Dover. But CJ says he's bounced back since then. I'm doing good. I'm on two legs, so that's all that matters. You know, it's better than being on crutches that we were last year. I don't know, it kind of brought me down a little bit, but, you know, this year we've got a full focus on the race and, you know, I'm 100% healthy right now, so I can't thank, uh, you know, God enough for that because, you know, to kind of walk out of that accident that we did last year was uh, pretty tough. But CJ isn't dwelling on the past. Come on, buddy. Keep going. Even at the Dover race, even though it was a week later that I got hurt, uh, you know, I stepped into the car and everything goes away. You, you've got to put yourself in that mindset that, you know, nothing's going to happen to you because you've got a, you know, a piece of machinery around you that's first off built to take a crash and then second off to go fast. So you can't think about those things. Instead, CJ and his crew are always thinking about the next race. Monday through Friday, I'm in their shop and, um, you know, most of the time helping them out on the cars, doing some marketing work, you know, for myself and, uh, you know, looking for sponsors that, you know, can take me to the next level and, and really help you achieve your goals. But, um, you know, working on the cars, that, that's the biggest deal. There's probably 80 plus hours a week that has to go into one of these race cars just to help it perform and, and get to the track. So, and that's only half the battle and you do even twice the work at the racetrack. So what's in the future for CJ? Uh, hopefully, you know, we're working on a couple of deals for next year and also 2015. So if something goes through, then hopefully I'll move up to the next level and, and really start to perform well there and uh, get noticed and, you know, just keep on moving up. But you've got to work every day at it. And um, that's the biggest deal is uh, dedication and the hard work and passion that goes into these things. That's what will get you there. Now, CJ will race Friday at noon in Dover. He's currently sitting at number 20 in driver points standings in his series. And if you would like to learn more about CJ Faison and his team, go to our website, delmarvalife.com. Click on the show tab on the left side of the page. Well, still ahead on Delmarva Life with fall comes tons of pumpkin spice flavoring. Up next, we're headed into the kitchen to make mac and cheese with a pumpkin ale twist. <laughs> but first, you know we have a seat waiting for you in the Delmarva Life audience, right? Please come be a part of the fun. Book your seat by visiting DelmarvaLife.com and clicking on the show tab, or just give us a call at 443-880-9116. Delmarva Life will be right back. <laughs> 